Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining Virtual Drinking Buddy. So, I thought I'd throw in a little bonus video. And I know you're probably thinking, are you fucking kidding me, a pumpkin beer? But yeah, a pumpkin beer. So, okay, so here's the thing. It's not... I am one of those people that is kind of pumpkin everything. I, I, I'm i not going to deny that. I would eat pumpkin pie year-round, so... Um, not necessarily everything pumpkin, but a lot of stuff pumpkin. But I had actually filmed this video back in like September, maybe early October. And while I was trying to transfer it from the, my camera to my phone where I do my editing, I, uh, I kind of hit delete instead of, uh, instead of send. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I deleted that video. That video is probably better than what this one's going to be. Because um, if you saw the first video tonight, you, you could tell I'm struggling with words. I, I took a nap, and sometimes that is a mistake. Unfortunately, it's not always, you know, under my control. Sometimes the nap it just has to happen. But unfortunately, sometimes it just you know, I don't come out of it. So... I'm going to do the best I can, and I'm going to talk about O'Fallon Pumpkin Beer from O'Fallon Brewery. I didn't write a lot of information down, and at this point, I don't remember why, because that was two, almost three months ago, maybe. What I did write down is that they use real pumpkin. This beer has an ABV of 5.6% and an IBU of 11, so it's not bitter. And I do remember liking this beer, but I'm going to go ahead and drink it for you. Not, not for me. For you. So, cheers. <clears throat> so, as I was bringing it to... Excuse me. Belches right away. How terribly crude. I do apologize. So, as I was bringing the glass up... I could smell the pumpkin spices, but when you drink it, <clears throat> they're not overwhelming. And you can taste the pumpkin in there. Um, and I don't know how many of you have a grandma that used to make homemade pumpkin pies. My grandma did occasionally, and they were always way better, I thought, because it wasn't so heavy with like all the sugar and spices. It was just enough so that it took away, like added some flavor to the pumpkin. It took away any bitterness that the pumpkin puree might have. And so that's kind of how this is. You can actually taste the pumpkin in it, but there are, oh, excuse me. This might be a long video. Just a lot of, a lot of me burping. Just what you wanted to watch. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> oh, son of a, mm. I think I've already cussed enough in this video. I don't know what the the rules are. In real life, when my kid isn't around, I'm kind of like a sailor. Foul mouth. Um, I do try to refrain. Since my child's been born, I've actually managed to cut down a lot less. I was one of those guys that dropped an F-bomb every other word, so I've actually improved tremendously. So I'm trying really hard to, to keep that here so that I can have more of a professional review. I do regress. Oh, my wife must be home. You hear that horrible, horrible sound? That's uh, my beagle, Bailey. She, uh, whenever my wife gets home, she does that. We call it her super bark. If you've ever seen uh, Bolt, that Disney movie where uh, the dog thinks he's a superhero and yeah, I think hers would actually stun people. It, it stuns us. It, it literally makes our, like our inner ear stuff, rattle, and it it at times throws off the equilibrium. So that's what that horrible stuff was. And then you you heard a little yeah, beep, 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 beep. yeah we have a chihuahua too. Fun combination: a forty-five pound beagle, nine pound chihuahua. And anyway, you don't care. Um. As far as the beer goes, it, it's a really good beer. Um, 
probably a little late in the year for most people to be drinking it. I, I would probably drink this particular pumpkin beer year round. It's a uh, medium bodied, not overly sweet. You can taste the pumpkin, but it still has that, I don't know, beer flavor. And I don't know, I'm assuming that it's probably like a lager base. Um, color wise, um, luckily the blue glass doesn't really throw it off too much, but it's kind of a golden brown and the the head was kind of like a I don't know it was kind of an off-white I guess and maybe approaching tan something like that but overall this is actually a really good beer um and like I said I I would eat pumpkin pie year-round so uh, a well-done pumpkin beer I would do year-round I've had some that are it was like they made a beer and then they added a bunch of uh, pumpkin pie spices to it. But that's not the case here. So, O'Fallon, you did a good job. Cheers. Mm. And I think I should probably wrap this up. Um, thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button below. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.